I hope you have all had a restful weekend. And as your energies have been recharged to face the challenges of today and the rest of the week. My name is Paul Edwards. I am your financial representative with New York Life. Welcome to Insurance Wednesdays. As you all know, I work with individuals and business owners to plan and save effectively for that period of time in your life when you will choose to work not as hard as you are doing now, we call that retirement. And I also help you to protect yourself and your loved ones with love insurance and long-term care. Today, I'm going to play a brief video about what we call standard of living. Then I will speak to that issue. So let me share my screen with you. Then I will go to the video. Screen. Now I am at the video. When we talk about standard of living, it helps to break down into five different levels. Wherever you and your family are situated, what's holding you there is your income, your assets, or a combination of both. Putting downward pressure on your standard of living are forces beyond your control, like taxes, inflation, death, and disability and a few that are partly within your control, like retirement. During your income producing years, saving for retirement can reduce the money you use to support your current standard of living. By the time we retire, we hope our assets are strong enough to replace our income altogether. But what if the unexpected happens and your income is taken away? Not in 20 or 30 years, but tomorrow. You haven't had time to accumulate enough to take care of your family long term. Unless those assets are large enough to provide long lasting income, they'll gradually run out and your family's standard of living could roll downhill. That's where New York Life comes in. By purchasing life insurance, you can create a wedge that will allow your family's standard of living to stay in place no matter what happens. Let's talk about your current situation so we can find a customized solution to help protect what matters most today and in the future. Now, I was speaking with an individual recently, and he was doing a mathematical calculation in terms of how much money would he contribute into a life insurance policy over a period of time. And he was saying, if he was to save up that money, he feels, or even invest it, he feels he would have more at the end. And I smiled. When you invest in the market, you are hoping to get an average return, a minimum, and this is an average statement, of about 8% per year. And if you have it inside there long enough, over 20, 30 years, it should grow considerably. But why I smiled during that discussion is because if you have a life insurance policy, let us say you have a life insurance policy for 100,000, 200,000, whatever that is, a million, two million, whatever that is, what a life insurance policy does, it, pr it protects you, it protects you against the unexpected. So you have a $200,000 life insurance policy and it might take you 20 years, 30 years to accumulate if you were to put those premiums. It might take you 30, 40 years to reach that. So what happens if something was to happen to you a year from now? 
And let us say you were, you were putting $100 for argument's sake, $100 into an investment. And you did it for, for one year. It means you would have saved $1,200 plus interest. And if you got 10% interest, let us say at the end of the year, you have an additional $120. You now have $1,320 and something was to happen to you. If you had put that $100 in the life insurance, your family would receive 100,000. But because you choose not, because you said over 20 years you can accumulate that, then your family is in a worse position. A man said to me one time, well, if I die, then my wife can go and find someone else. So why should I do that? That told me that that person did not love his wife nor his kids because that was the statement of a fool. When you made a vow, you said until death, you was part for better, for worse. So your responsibility, husbands and wives, is to protect each other because you want to make sure that if you are not here, your family is not worse off. That's step number one. Step number two is, even though when you save, especially in a whole life insurance policy, which was here at New York Life, you, you, your cash value grows because of interest that you get on it and because of the dividends that you also get on it. So it takes approximately 20 years for the cash value in your policy to surpass your monthly contribution. And depending on the type of policy that you have, an individual took out a 100,000 life insurance policy, let us say a, a, a male or a female, and again, this is dependent on your age. By the time they reach, and I'm going to use a calculation of a policy that I did for 19 years old. And I'm also going to use one I did, well, for the 19 years old, let me use that. And he is contributing $224 per month. And the policy debt benefit initially was 200, I think about 50,000. By the time he retires, he, the, the, he has a debt benefit of over, what is it, 600 and something thousand dollars. And he can ask New York Life to take that 600 and thousand dollars and give him an interest for a P, I give him an income for a period of time, 10, 20, 15, whatever years. What am I saying? If properly structured, a life insurance policy, especially a whole life and a custom whole life, is not just for the debt benefit. It can become a retirement supplement because of the cash value it accumulates. So it just makes sense. You can call me today at 321 557 1155 and I will answer the questions you have concerning the vital importance of you, yes, you having adequate life insurance. If you are not sure that you have adequate life insurance, call me now, 321-557-1155. If you want your life insurance policies reviewed, take up your phone and call me now, Paul Edwards, New York Life, 321-557-1155. There are many different types of life insurance, custom whole life, whole life, universal life, VUL, verbal universal life, term, 
many different types. You are a business owner. You can do different types of policies also, key man insurance, other types of policies. Take up your phone, call me now, Paul Edwards, 321-557-1155. Have an enjoyable day, a productive day. And I will see you all, no, I'm going to, yes, I will see you all on investment Wednesdays. Be blessed. With whatever you do today, remember to always have your center on Christ. <laughs>